Welcome to Home Renovation, the YouTube channel designed to help homeowners like you do your renovations and get professional results. Today we are talking about how to properly cut down a door so that you can install it in an odd space, like this one. So like a lot of homeowners, they've got old doors or you've got a damaged door and you got to replace it. So if you go to the store to buy a new door, it'll be 80 inch tall in most cases. And if your hole is smaller than that, you're going to have to learn how to cut it down. So depending on what's going on in your house, whether you're adding multiple layers of flooring or you're going to be like us and we're adding a smaller door to access under the stairs, it's a really simple process to cut down the door to get the exact height that you want. So we're going to show you the three easy steps to get this project done and it'll make you look like a pro. First of all, you gotta have your measurements. So what we're dealing with here is a hole that is about 39 inches tall. And we're gonna make our door one inch shorter than the overall gap. So that'll make sure that there's gonna be lots of room around for us to do the install without working too hard. So we'll transfer that information onto our door slab, 39 inches. And to keep it simple, what I do is I'll just mark both sides I'll take a scrap piece of wood here and I'll lay it across the two marks and then draw the line. Okay, and that's simple. Now in this situation, it's almost half a door. It's gonna be awkward to work with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually, first of all, I'm gonna take off about a four inch piece here because the important aspect of this door is it has a core installed in the bottom. And if you just cut it down and stick it in the hole, then you're gonna have a huge open space in there for all kinds of critters to make homes. And it's gonna be nasty long-term. So, again, you wanna cut straight because it's easy on the blade. And then we're gonna cut the door down again about this size. That'll make it more manageable. So here we go. First, we're gonna save the bottom part of the core. We'll cut that. Always important to cut all the way through. Do I even have enough? Nope. There we go. First of all, I guess we should always adjust the depth of the blade so it'll cut through the whole door. <laughs> that works a lot better. Now cut off a little bit of the excess to make it manageable. You can see that's how the inside of the door is made, which is why it's so important to be able to close that up again. That's why we save the bottom of the door. We're actually gonna salvage the core and then reinstall it into the new hole. But first, so first we're gonna protect the surface of the door from potential scratches by throwing a couple pieces of tape on there. This is just your basic painter's tape. Now I've had heard people say in the comments, oh, I just taped the bottom of the saw, right? So they taped the saw plate here. I don't like to do that because I don't want adhesive residue on my saw. When I'm working, I like to know that my saw is going to slide without getting any kind of issue. And we will now line that up so I'm cutting clear of my tie at my table. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So there we go. Step one is cut down the door. Step two, of course, is to retrieve the core. So what I do is I just stick my hammer in there and I give it a twist and it forces the hardboard panels to come apart. All right, there we go. Now, I'm gonna to continue to wrestle with this, and while I do, if you haven't yet, feel free to click the subscribe button, and feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this kind of video. We like to hear from your viewers, you know what they like and what they don't like. All right. <laughs> uh, 
Now you can see they installed this kind of stuff with an adhesive, which is a real bit of a frustration, but if you're going to cut down your door more than that one inch, you're not going to have a core left anymore. So, always good to know how to remove all this junk. Once you've got it all taken off to the top, you can take a look. This side of the hardboard came off pretty clean. There's not much left. But over here, I got a lot of hardboard left. So what you're going to want to do is take your knife and cutting away from you, almost like a chisel, take all that excess hardboard off because you don't want to install a core into a door if it's too thick. Okay, we're back. Let's clean this up just a little bit before we move forward. Ah! Now in most doors, these hollow doors, you have this little piece here. Of, it's kind of like a compressed wood, a sawdust filler, and it's usually about a foot long. Roughly where the middle of the door is so that when you go to install your door handle, you've got something there that's got some density to it so that you're not going to rip the door handle right through the particle board later on. Since we cut into that, we're actually going to have to measure from here to here and then install our little piece of filler. But before we do that, we have to also remove these little extra pieces of cardboard that are in the way. And that's just a matter of getting in that glue line with a chisel or hitting a little red bar like this and breaking that glue joint. And if anybody is thinking, wow, they make doors like crap nowadays, just got to remember, this all happened because we were trying to save trees and recycle the paper. And this is one of the solutions they came up with. Now, at the end of the day, the door works fine. They just don't have a lot of integrity. So if you're in the habit of punching your doors and that sort of thing, they aren't going to last very long. Okay, now let's get our measurement. 16 and an eighth. All right. 16 and an eighth. <laughs> Step one was cut the door down. Step two was clean up and prep the core, cut it to size. Step three, obviously, is glue it all in place. Now, you got a couple of options here. You can put glue right on the core. But when you push it in, it'll all leak out all over the door. Or you can just put it right inside the panel itself near the top. Put a nice healthy bead on both sides so that when you put your door core in, you're maximizing your contact with the glue. Okay. The secret here is to tap with the hammer half off. It's, it makes contact with the, with the outside of the door. And then you don't risk hitting it too deep. All right. The only other thing you could do is if you have clamps, if you have clamps, you can put a couple of compression clamps on there. What I like to do is I just get a little bit more creative, throw a little bit of tape. You'd be surprised how much strength is in a piece of tape. Done. Let that sit for about 20 minutes. We're ready to hang. Now, because this door is so small and it's just made for access under the stairs, we're going to use a piano hinge to install it. And I'm probably going to install just a regular kind of door, cabinet door handle on it. It seems to make a little bit of sense. So we'll put that aside for now. What I wanted to show you is if your door is a little bit too wide for your, your gap. The reason I'm covering this information is because a lot of people are changing the doors out in older homes and they're different size widths of the door than they are now. This is what we do in construction. We constantly change the norms. So every time you want to repair or fix something, you have to buy something brand new. You can't just buy something and stick it in. You have to go to some elaborate expense, right? So I'm going to show you the secret. And this is what we call a planer. It's a hand planer. It's a very portable tool. And what this does is it can cut down. You just adjust your dial for the thickness that you want to remove. And this is how we do this. So you will see that in this door, the inside of the door is not as wide as the outside of the door. This is on a bit of a slope. That's so that when you're closing the door, it doesn't make contact with the jam, but it finishes nice and tight. Okay. So you're on a bit of a slope. Now, if you find 
that you're installing your door and your slab is just a little bit too wide, there's not enough forgiveness. Sometimes it's because the age of the home, okay? Sometimes it's because of the layers of paint that are on the door jam. So what you do is you put your door into your hole and you inscribe the thickness that you want to get rid of. And that's the thickness you want to get rid of. And the way we do that is we use the planer. This sucker spins really fast and it has one three inch blade that rotates a few thousand times a minute. And if it touches any part of your body, it will remove it. So <laughs> having said that, hold the plate flat to the door that you're cutting, all right? Not on an angle or you're gonna mess up the bevel. And you just turn it on and then in one pass, you just go right across the door. And if you haven't removed all of your pencil, do it again. Ta-da! And that is how you would cut down a door to make it a little bit thinner. All you have to do to finish that is just take a little bit of a sanding bar or a orbital sander, give it a quick pass, and you have got a customized door. Okay, well, it's been 20 minutes. This core is firmly in place, and we are ready to install this door. So now I gotta go get this door installed on this little play structure. If you'd like to see how this project turns out, click the link at the end of the video.